So I gotta make a revised video. I was doing a little bit of research and something just wasn't sitting sitting very well with me when it comes to torque in the bottom end. Um, I'm gonna delete the video because I just think it was wrong information and I don't wanna give out wrong information. Um, so when you get used rods and mains, these are torque, the procedure they use is torque angle. Uh, you're using a degree wheel to add an additional amount of twist to the fastener instead of the traditional torque wrench method. Uh, factory bolts, brand new factory bolts, I could see working perfectly fine with whatever GM engineered uh, for that purpose, but when you're running used bolts, using the, the torque angle method just doesn't work. Anyways, my mistake, and I'm, I didn't think I gave you guys enough uh, information in terms of how much foot-pounds to use. Previous video I said on the outer is 45 and the inner is 55. But as I was going over it and I was do experimenting, it just does not seem like enough torque. So, add, an, add another 10 pounds per. Meaning, doing your sequence, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Start from the center, work your way out and around. Center bolts first. Work them up in three steps. Take them up to 15 foot-pounds like they said. Next step, take them up to say 35 foot-pounds. And then finally, finish them off at 65 foot-pounds. So 15, 35, 40-ish, then 65. Same with the outers. The outers, the sequence was, or it's 15 foot-pounds, you know, and then you go about your sequence, work your way out and around. And then you want to add an additional 51 degrees of twist. Doesn't work. That method does not work very well on used bolts. I mean, these are hardened bolts and you can reuse them, but you can't use that method. You're going to take these outers to 55. So, once again, the center bolts, three steps, 15 foot pounds, halfway in the middle, 35 to 40, in sequence, of course. And then ultimately finish these up at 65 foot pounds. I have found that's. And it's not much give. Like from 55 to 65, it's maybe eighth of a turn, a quarter turn on your torque wrench. Use a good, accurate torque wrench, too. So, 65 on the centers, 55 on the outers. So, um, information was the same for the rods. Uh, once you're using used rod bolts, I mean, they're already stretched a bit from the factory, so the factory torque angle procedure is already null and void. Take these to 50 foot-pounds. Let them sit overnight, check them again, make sure they're at 50. 50 on the rods, 65 on the center, 55 on the outers. Sorry about the confusion. Something wasn't sitting right with me. I don't want to give you guys bad information, and i got to own up to it. So, it is what it is. I mean, I found from several different sources the information they're giving you. Um, it's anywhere, you know, they tell you 15 foot-pounds and add... Uh, 60 degrees of twist or 75 degrees of twist or 85 degrees of twist when you're using used factory hardened bolts You can torque them like you're supposed to let them sit overnight so they can relax check them again in the morning and ultimately Check your fasteners once again previous to final assembly when you put your oil pan on and so on and so forth All right, just to clarify that Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll, I got an update coming up for you soon Get the heads ready here, and I'm going to give you guys a little bit of information about them in the next segment as I wrap up this 6 liter. So, alright everyone, enjoy your Sunday. Catch up with you soon.